Are you living in a fairy tale? This video will explore the difference between what I call fairy tale love and authentic love, and will end by exploring ways to begin to cultivate authentic love in all of our relationships. So what is the difference between what I call fairy tale love and authentic love? When we're living in fairy tale love, we often expect others to just know what we think, what we feel, what we need, and then we expect them to go ahead and meet our needs for us. This of course looks different than authentic love. In authentic love, we understand that I or another human is solely responsible for understanding, identifying, and meeting their own needs. In fairy tale love, we believe it is another's job to complete us, to make us happy, to allow us to feel fulfilled, to give us a feeling. In authentic love, however, we understand that the only person that can make us feel anything, be it happy, be it completed or whole, be it fulfilled, is ourselves. In fairy tale love, we hold others responsible when we're upset. When they upset us, we understandably want or ask them even to change, to stop doing things that upset us or to start doing things so that we may feel better. In authentic love, we understand that our reaction to anything that happens to us or around us is our responsibility. And we then take the time to understand on a deeper level what might be happening for us, why we might be having that reaction. We don't hold others responsible and we don't necessarily ask them to change so that we can feel differently. We first explore that reaction within ourselves. In fairy tale love, we believe that how emotionally close we feel to someone is based solely in, in them, how they are showing up to the relationship, the emotional depth that they may or may not be capable of. And when we don't feel that we're emotionally connected to or understood, or our relationship doesn't feel to have the depth that we would like it to, some of us blame the other person, maybe even look for another partner who has the qualities that we believe we need emotionally. In authentic love, we understand that our ability to be emotionally connected to anyone, again, begins with us, begins with how emotionally connected we are to ourselves, how attuned we are, and how able we then are to authentically present those emotions and that self to another person. We understand that when we're not feeling emotionally connected to someone or the world around us, we look to ourselves to understand where the disconnection might be in terms of us. So how do we begin to do the work? The first step is to empower ourselves to identify which type of love we're functioning in now. This doesn't just include romantic relationships. This could be in our friendships as well. We have expectations of our friends just as much as we have expectations of our romantic partners. So begin to explore what is the type of love we typically seek in relationships? And of course, the journey is to create one new small daily promise toward that authentic love in all of our relationships.